Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and today Apple released iOS 17.3 Beta 3. iOS 17.3 Beta 3 is out to developers and probably pretty soon to public beta testers since we're not having the issues we had last time with Beta 2. This particular update was released alongside a lot of other things such as iPadOS 17.3 Beta 3, WatchOS 10.3 Beta 3, macOS 14.3 Beta 3, as well as some older macOS updates. They did not release updates for the tvOS or HomePod OS just yet. Now this particular update came in at 573.7 megabytes on my 15 Pro Max, and it was about the same size on the other devices as long as you had Beta 2 installed. It could be larger if you were still on Beta 1. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go to settings, then we'll go down to general, then about, and as you can see the build number is 21D5044A. Now that we have an A at the end we're probably pretty close to a public release. We'll talk more about when to expect that a little bit later, but this particular update is more of a beta 2 re-release with some bug fixes and more. So the first thing that we have that's new in it is actually a new modem update. We didn't have one with beta 2, we have a new modem update that should help with overall connectivity and more, so that's a good sign. Now we have some updates with spatial video, so if you go into your video, turn on spatial video, we rotate this, turn this on, we get a new update where we have a splash screen where it says relive your memories in three dimensions on Apple Vision Pro or in 2D on iPhone. For best results, keep iPhone in landscape orientation and stable while recording. So this is actually an updated message we didn't have before, but they've updated with this one. If we tap continue, then we can record spatial video, and it records in 1080p. We also have an update here as well if we go into our settings and then we go back and go down to Face ID and Passcode. Under Face ID and Passcode, if we go into Stolen Device Protection and we go to turn this off, it will verify with Face ID this actually works properly, just like it did on Beta 2, but it's basically the same thing. Again, some of the wording may have changed, where it says security delay required to change stolen device protection. A security delay is required because stolen device protection is active and iPhone is not at a familiar location. It will last for an hour and you'll be able to use it still, so if you tap start, it will start counting down from a 60 minute timer. Now you don't have to turn that off, you can leave it on, but either way that's been updated a little bit as far as the way it works, and it works properly. As far as music, if we go into that, and maybe we go into our library and then playlists, under playlists I have one here where we have collaborative playlists. They've kept this with beta 3, so it looks like it's going to be a major part of iOS 17.3 finally, and also of course we have the emojis where we can react, change it up to whatever we want, and it changes, but there is a slight delay there. You may have seen that. Let me do that one more time. Tap this one, it takes a moment. Sometimes it updates quickly, sometimes it doesn't. So you'll see that updated pretty quickly, but the first time you do it, typically it's a little bit slow. Now, as far as anything else in this update, there's some new wording changes. Journal has more settings, which we've talked about before. That was added with beta one. So if you go into your journal settings in here, we have some new updates for different settings and more. Of course, lock journal, journaling schedule, and much more. So they've just added some more op updates for notifications and everything else. And then also, as far as anything else, we don't have any new emoji yet. And when you're using Game Center in lockdown mode, you can't actually use that. It will disable Game Center. So that's just sort of a security measure if you're using lockdown mode. So if you wanna use that, and you wanna make sure everything's super secure under privacy and security, you can use lockdown mode, and once enabled, it makes things very secure, but disables some other features as well. Now, as far as the release notes, well, there's not a whole lot updated here. If we go into the feedback app, you'll see iOS and iPadOS 17.3 beta 3, and it says, under store kit, it resolved an issue where APIs which provide transaction values would unexpectedly fail when the purchase price of the transaction is a very large number. This is no different than what we had before, and for some reason, they haven't updated this. I would really like to see some additional updates with messages as far as what they've resolved, bugs that are remaining and more. They used to be even better at this, now they're getting more and more sparse notes to go along with this. Now as far as anything else, well there are still some bugs that remain, so within Notification Center if I swipe home, the wallpaper dimming bug is still there, although it doesn't seem as severe, sometimes it shows up, it's very hard to see this time, so that's good news, but the actual notification bug is still there, so it does pop in kind of oddly sometimes, and doesn't behave as expected, but it's been like that since iOS 16. So that's a bit of an, a disappointment, they haven't fixed that, but maybe in a future update. 
As far as overall performance, well, I've been using Beta 2 for a while, had no issues there. And as far as the stability and everything else, it will take a few days to know for sure. But everything like ProMotion seems to be nice and smooth and fast, no issues there. And opening up different apps, as you saw here, are nice and fast with music and more. Just depends on your internet connection, as you can see here. So everything seems to be working well as far as performance. When it comes to the heat of the device, well, because we went from Beta 2 to Beta 3, which probably had some fixes to prevent bricking and things like that, it seems to be nice and fine. It's not super warm. It was warm for a bit, nothing outside of the ordinary. It wasn't too hot to pick up or anything like that. As far as the overall battery life, it'll take a few days to measure that, and we'll talk about that on the weekend after we've used it for a while. And I haven't been using it on my main device, but rather the other device, since I'm running iOS 17.2.1 on my main device right now. So I'll switch over to the beta soon, but if we go ahead and take a look at charge cycles, go to about, you'll see I have 77 cycles on this device. So far, I don't believe we're down to 99%, but let's go ahead and check. We'll go to battery, battery health and charging and we're currently at 100% still. Battery life on Beta 2 was not getting me through the day, so it was actually making me have to charge twice a day. On 17.2.1, I could get through the day. So if we go to settings, then battery. On my main device, I've had four hours and 43 minutes of screen active time, two hours and seven minutes of screen idle time. Unfortunately, the screen on time is actually counted with standby mode as well. I wish they would remove that, but it shows eight hours and I've barely used it. So I'm getting through the day about six to 10 hours of screen active time, but I would like to see that improve a little bit like we had before. Now, as far as if you should install iOS 17.3 Beta 3, I would say I would only do this at this point if you are on Beta 1 or Beta 2. If you're on iOS 17.2.1, I would probably hold off at this point as we don't really know if it's going to be stable. Give it a couple days. I'll of course have a weekend follow-up where we talk about that. As far as when to expect the next version, well, since we're on the third beta, last year we went from beta 2 right to the release candidate. But at this point, I would probably expect it, see if we can find our calendar here, probably next Tuesday or Wednesday, I would expect iOS 17.3 RC. And then probably the following Monday, maybe the 22nd, we'll probably see iOS 17.3 release to the public. That's typically what Apple does. Last year we had the RC on the 18th. So sometime next week, the RC, probably a public release on Monday. As far as iOS 17.2.2, so far there's no signs of that. So we may just have to wait a couple weeks for everyone to get a major update at this point. Another thing I wanted to mention is Apple released Apple Vision Pro, or at least let us know when we can pick one up. If we go into Safari, let Apple load here, and you can see, of course, everything else. We'll go into Vision here. Apple Vision Pro actually has pre-orders starting on the 19th with the availability starting on the 2nd. On the 2nd, they do say that they'll be in every store as well. So that'll be something we'll have to look forward to. Maybe try one out. We don't know the pricing other than $3,500, which will give you 16 gigabytes of RAM and about 256 gigs of storage. That seems a little bit low for the price, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, as far as the overall benchmarks, I did run those. So let's go ahead and take a look. And after I ran it the second time, when it cooled down a bit, we had 2,946 for single core, 7,169 for multi-core. If we take a look at the history, you can see what it was here. It's doing quite well. It's better than the past couple versions where I've actually had higher scores on both single and multi-core compared to what we had with the previous beta. So I'd say this one's doing pretty well, no issues whatsoever, and seems to be probably better than what we would expect, and hopefully that's what it's like since we had some major issues with Beta 2. Now, as far as anything else, well, I'm at CES this week, so you may have noticed it looks a little different, the mic sounds a little different, but in general, everything else is basically the same. I'll have a regular weekend follow-up, and if you've found anything else, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do, and if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.